Hello, YouTube. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, I'm excited because this is the first time this school year that I've had an opportunity to sit down and just talk with you guys about things that are going on. Today's topic is centered around conversations that I've had with other teachers, as well as people on the internet, YouTube, email, uh, regarding the master certification for Microsoft. Now, some of the confusion, I believe, comes from that the 2013 track is different than the 2016 track, which is going to be different from the 2019 track. And so with all the changes, I think people just have a hard time understanding what they have to do in order to obtain that certification. And then some of it is because I'm just talking with Florida teachers, and most of our programs are geared towards students earning three certifications in one of the five programs, the Core Word, Core Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, or Access. In my program, we focus on Word, Excel, and then PowerPoint. Other people bring in Outlook, but it's just a matter of preference. And with what they're doing in the classroom, they think they can just tie in one of the expert certifications and then everything will work out and they had their students earn the master certification. And that's not the case. In order for somebody to earn the master certification for Microsoft Office 2016, they need to earn Excel Expert. Word Expert, PowerPoint, so that's the three, but then they need to add one more, a fourth certification, and they have a choice. They can choose Access or they can choose Outlook. And the combination of those four will help you earn the master certification. And the cool thing about that is, is Microsoft will actually send you a certificate in the mail, a letter just congratulating on your accomplishment. And I have a example here. This is my 2013 master certification. Honestly, I couldn't find my 2016 one for this video, that the one that they actually mailed me. But I do, behind me, have my master certification hanging for 2016. And it's cool. It's, it's awesome for students to receive that in the mail. Parents are excited. And it really helps distinguish you. Uh, the expert certifications are not easy to earn. And it really helps you stand out. If you have a resume and you're listing these qualifications, it really helps you stand out. The 2019 is going to be a little bit different because they've added two tiers to their certifications. If you earn four certifications, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook, you will have earned the Microsoft Office Specialist Associate distinction. And I wonder that when you achieve those certifications, if you're going to receive something in the mail similar to what they've done with the master certification. But then once you've obtained that, you can then choose two of the three certifications for Access Expert. Excel Expert and Word Expert. And so they're kind of giving you a little bit more flexibility in the program by giving you a third expert option. So once you've earned these different certifications, Microsoft will register it in CertiPort. You'll see it on your account. It should pop up uh, usually within just a few hours, if not within a few minutes. And you'll be able to print that out and download it and, and brag to your friends, your coworkers, other students. Microsoft is also going to send you out a certification just congratulating you on your accomplishments. And so I'm assuming with the 2019 track that that's what's going to happen. They haven't released all of the exams yet, so only time will tell. But I hope that answers any confusion that there have been on this certification.